Hey everyone, Andre here with a quick update about Pokemon Go, because if you've been on the internet at all over the past few days, then you've probably heard or maybe even were part of the kerfuffle involving a recent change Niantic made to the game. So basically the backstory is that during the pandemic, uh, Niantic increased the distance it could activate a Pokestop by from 40 meters to 80 meters in order to uh, increase safety for people playing the game. However, they recently reverted the change in the United States and New Zealand back to the previous 40 meter distance, and that's made a lot of people upset particularly since we're still in the pandemic. And that caused an uproar in the community, with nearly 200,000 people signing a petition, among, of course, constantly trending on Twitter. Now, Neontic has finally issued a response in the form of a letter on their website. I'm going to read the whole thing to you. Here we go. To our Pokemon Go community, we appreciate your letter and all of your feedback. We hear you. We are humbled by your response. Not every game has such a passionate global player base that we're fortunate enough to have. Like everyone else around the world, our team has been working very hard to adapt to the global health environment. The recent exploration bonus changes we made in the US and New Zealand are designed to restore some of the foundational elements players enjoyed prior to 2020 and reward players once again for moving and exploring. Encouraging people to explore, exercise, and safely play together in person remains Neontic's mission. The health and well-being of players is our top priority, which is why we've implemented the new exploration bonuses in select geographies where it is deemed safe to be outdoors. Research has shown that taking walks outside is safe and confers several health benefits. Furthermore, encouraging outdoor exploration is in keeping with Neontic's mission. That said, we will continue to monitor health and safety guidance related to outdoor activities and will make future changes if necessary. We have heard your feedback about one change in particular, that of the Pokestop and Gym interaction distance. We reverted the interaction distance from 80 meters back to the original 40 meters starting in the US and New Zealand because we wanted people to connect to real places in the real world and to visit places that are worth exploring. However, we have heard your feedback loud and clear, and so to address the concerns you have raised, we are taking the following actions. To develop proposals designed to preserve our mission of inspiring people to explore the world together, while also addressing specific concerns that have been raised regarding interaction distance. We will share the findings of this task force by the next in-game session change, September 1st. As part of this process, we will be reaching out to community leaders in the coming days to join us in this dialogue. Our goal is to build fun and engaging experiences that remain true to our mission, and we thank you for joining us with thoughtful and constructive feedback. The Neontic team. So, there you have it. Basically, Neontic isn't making any changes at the moment, but they may be in the near future, and we should know what they are, if any, as of September 1st. So, they are listening, which is a great sign, and they are taking further steps to further communicate with the community, which is a good thing. So what do you all make of all of this? Do you think there's promise in the hopes of Neontic reverting the change, or do you think we may arrive at a different conclusion? Let us know by posting in the comments below, and of course stay tuned to GameSlain for more on this matter as it develops, and everything else Nintendo as well. We'll catch you later. Bye everyone!